Hello friends, uh, welcome to Windows. In today's video, you will learn how to install Windows Sandbox on Home Edition of Windows 11 and Windows 10. Windows Sandbox is a nifty feature that creates an isolated environment to run untrusted software, test potentially harmful applications, or browse the internet securely. It creates a temporary virtual machine that runs a separate instance of Windows operating system without affecting the user system. Once the user finishes testing or browsing, the Sandbox is closed and all files files and data created within it are deleted ensuring no lasting impact on the system. Windows Sandbox is an essential tool for developers, IT professionals or anyone who want to evaluate new software without the risk of infecting their system with malware. Windows Sandbox is only available in the Pro Enterprise and Education editions of Windows 11 and Windows 10 and unavailable on Home Edition. For Home Edition users, the only option is to upgrade to any of the supported edition to get access to Windows Sandbox that will cost you more. But if I say it's possible to access Windows Sandbox in Windows 11 and Windows 10 Home Edition, it will be great, right? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Before you start, I would like to tell you that solution discussed in this video will only work if your PC meets minimum requirements to access Windows Sandbox which are as follows. You need at least 4 GB of RAM, 8 GB or more is recommended at least 1 GB of uh, free disk space SSD recommended for better performance virtualization uh, need to be enabled in BIOS check the blog post in the description to learn if it's enabled or not at least 2 CPU cores 4 cores with hyper threading is recommended if you made up to this part of the video then I presume that your PC meets minimum requirement to run Windows Sandbox before you start following the method you can see that I am running Windows 11 Home Edition right so let's get started First of all, you need to right click on the desktop and then select new and select text document. Now open the text document and then copy paste this code. Check the blog post in the description to get it. After that, click on the file and then select save as. Now select the location where you want to save the file. Let's say desktop. Now name the file sandbox.bat you need to save the file with .bat extension else it will not work after that click on the save button now you will see the bat file with name sandbox on the location you have selected right click on it and select run as administrator when usc dialog box appear click yes to continue Instantly command prompt window will open and start installing required files for the installation of Windows Sandbox on your PC. Once the installation completes, you will be asked to restart your computer. Type Y in the command prompt window to confirm the action. Now this will restart your computer. After we start, if you search Windows Sandbox, 
This time it will appear in the search results. This confirms that you have successfully installed Windows Sandbox on your Windows Home Edition. You can now use it the way you want. In case instead of opening, it shows an error message that is Windows Sandbox failed to initialize, then it's highly possible that your PC lacks system requirements to run Windows Sandbox. Unfortunately, there is no solution available for fixing this issue, especially if the dialog box appears after installation of Windows Sandbox using this method. Usually, this error appears when your PC lacks virtualization feature, so make sure it's working properly on your PC. Following the same method, you can install Windows Sandbox on Windows 10 Home Edition as well. Just create a sandbox.pat file now run the bat file once the installation complete restart your computer and you are good to go So that's all about this video why don't you give it a try and if you find this video useful don't forget to like this video and subscribe the channel for more use for more useful videos